Javier Solana, we honor you today with the Open Society Prize as a leader whose entire career has been characterized by a commitment to the values of democracy, freedom, and justice. As a politician and a diplomat, you have demonstrated how one person can bring real change to the world by being a consensus builder but never compromising on core values and principles. As Spanish Foreign Minister, you convened the Barcelona Conference in 1995 and launched the Euro-Mediterranean Partnership. While serving as Secretary General of NATO between 1995 and 99, you had to deal with the conflict in the Balkans, which Richard Holbrook, our other Open Society Prize recipient today, was leading the international effort to end. You contributed to stopping the conflict by mobilizing the support of NATO's EU member states. Later, you were involved in establishing the multinational peacekeeping force in Bosnia. After leaving NATO, you became the European Union's high representative for common foreign and security policy, or as you were commonly referred to, Mr. Europe. In this role, you were one of the creators of modern Europe. Your extraordinary success as a leader and builder of modern Europe can be attributed to your deep commitment to the values reflected in your actions, fighting for peace, stability, and prosperity for those who have less. CEU is proud to confer upon you, upon Javier Solana, our highest honor, the Open Society Prize. Thank you very much to everybody who has contributed uh, to this uh, important reward to, to myself. Today is a day of joy, or oh, joy for you principally, or oh, joy for your families. But it's also a joy for me, not only because I received this award, because I received it all with you in a ceremony which is shared and that will contribute to share our future together. We will continue fighting, you will start fighting for the same values that we, before you, have fought to make this world a better place, to make those who suffer more happy, to make those who have generosity more generous. And I think we have examples in this hall today of all of that. Generosity is clear. The president of this university, the founder of this university, is an example of how you can be successful in life. You can be at the same time a great intellectual and being at the same time one of the most important philanthropists in this century. Institutionally, this university, the CEU, it has been told to you how it was founded you have lived it, but you know that you have now the biggest responsibility. What you have learned, we have lived together, people from different countries, different cultures, but share the same principles and the same values that you have to keep together, to keep on together, and to try, as I said before, to make the world a place where war will not be present, where suffering will not be present, where hope will be the most important thing to achieve. You are going to enter in a very complicated world. You are going to start your careers in a world which is unfair, in a world which is uncertain, in a world which is unsustainable. And together, we have to make it the world safer, more fair, and sustainable. In your life, you may have plan Bs, if you fail with the plan A. But when we talk about sustainability in this world, I can tell you, you cannot have a planet B with only one planet. And we have to take care of this planet because there's no other. 
and we want to continue, you, your generation that will come after you, living in this planet. I'd like to say that uh, this prize for me is not a recognition of anything. I have to tell you that this prize for me is a call, a call to duty, and a call to continue fighting, and a call to continue with you, with others, making what has been the dream of the open society, what has been the dream of many people before us who fall for the same values. Let me finish by saying a quote by somebody very dear for me. In my previous incarnations, I've been many things, but I've been uh, a good scientist. And um, I remember very well what Albert Einstein used to say about times in difficulty into complex times. And in times of uncertainty, he said, it's more important to be creative, to be imag imaginative, than to be knowledgeable. We are in those times in which we are going to enter, you are going to enter. You have to be knowledgeable, but you have to be brave and bold. Thank you very much for this opportunity you have given me to share with you this fabulous day for you and your families. Thank you very much.